Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, May 28, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account and use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or any other handicapper on the roster for that matter. Again, all you got to do to get started, get that $60 free account, consider it a trial run, is click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for that. I think you'll be glad that you did. As far as what happened last night, before we jump into today's stuff, we lost in hockey. I had the St. Louis Blues had a real nice run going in uh, to the Stanley Cup Finals. We did lose last night, got off to that nice 2-0 start. And really, over the last two periods, it was all Boston Bruins. I mean, they really held St. Louis in check and did a great job at denying the amount of chances and shots on goal that the Blues were able to uh, get off uh, over the final two periods. And so they go on to win 4-2. to two. Empty netter was the final goal in the game. We will be in action on Wednesday. That play will be posted Wednesday morning at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific NHL game number two. We'll have to get right back on track. Uh, we go into the Stanley Cup Finals up almost $2,000 for those wagering $100 per unit. Again, lost last night with the Underdog Blues. We'll be right back in action on Wednesday. Baseball, listen, we've had one game that we've lost going back to last, well, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, winners. Saturday, we lost. We had a, a play on Saturday that was actually uh, leading going to the bottom of the eighth. We lost with the Atlanta Braves when they gave up a four spot to the Cardinals in their final at bat, come back Sunday, come back Monday, win both days. So a real nice run, just one game and one inning away from perfection since Thursday in Major League Baseball. And we've been winning those games by a wide margin. Average score of 13 to four has been our winning mark since Thursday with our winning game. So we got one more play going on Tuesday. It's a big Tuesday night KO play as we like to call them. It's over at DocSports.com on Wednesday morning after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. It is our lone play on Tuesday. Not much going on on Tuesday, but we do have this big play in Major League Baseball uh, that you'll be able to get on Tuesday morning. We'll have to continue this red-hot run in Major League Baseball. Again, another easy winner last night on the bases. As far as ba uh, basketball is concerned, we will be in action in Game 1. That will be posted on Thursday morning over at DocSports.com. Everything else this week, for those of you who have asked, uh, we will be back in PGA action. You know, last week we had three matchups, first three matchups that we posted at DocSports.com. Two of our golfers withdrew, and then in the one actual matchup that took place, Molinari against Chaufle, we cashed that ticket because, well, Chaufle did not make the cut. And we had Molinari, who did play all four days last week in, at the Colonial. So we'll be back in action. I would suspect we'll probably have another three plays in matchup action for this week's PGA event. And I'll let you know all about what we're going to have uh, on tomorrow's video as far as how many matchups we did come up with for this upcoming event. Of course, we've got to sit around and wait for those, those uh, prices to be posted uh, so we can jump in and really handicap all the matchups this week. But we've got a good idea on a couple of golfers that we're going to be looking to play on for this week's card. UFC, we are back in action this coming weekend. Our picks will be posted on Friday night. More on that as we get closer to the weekend. And of course, NASCAR, we swept the month of May as we told you yesterday with our matchups. And we've got another race going at Pocono this time on Sunday. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about when those picks will be posted a little bit later in this week on the videos. We'll also on tomorrow's report, we'll return to our NFL thumbnail sketches. We're in the NFC East and we'll be talking about those New York football giants on tomorrow's video. As far as the free pick for tonight is concerned, we are going to back the Chicago White Sox at home over the Royals. Looking to get back in the win column after a couple of losses here with the free picks. They're doing well with the premium picks in baseball. And then again, last couple of days losing with our free picks. So we got to get back in the win column. We're going to go with the White Sox over the Royals. Your pitching matchup there, Keller for KC against Giolito for the White Sox. The thing about Keller is, man, he just walks a ton of, of batters. I mean, if you look at what he's done this season, just look at one start after another, uh, starting with his last outing. It's four or five walks per game. If you look at what he's done on the road, he's actually averaging his ratio of uh, more than six walks per nine innings pitched. You don't get away with that. You just don't in Major League Baseball. And I think he's going to have some problems with the White Sox in this particular game. At the same time with Giolito, we got to lay a price with him this time. We had him last Thursday as a free pick, which won for us a big underdog when he went on the road in Houston and pitched that shutout. So we like Giolito. Here's what he's done. First of all, he did change his arm angles a little bit. He kind of junked his sinker 
that he was throwing. And also, he has speeded up, so to speak, his delivery. There's not as much time going in between the time he gets the ball back from the catcher and he throws his next pitch. He decided to start doing that a couple of starts ago uh, when there was bad weather, some inclement weather rolling into town, and he said he just felt more comfortable doing it. I've always been a big fan of starting pitchers who pitch quickly. I mean, Greg Maddox is the perfect example. You don't need to stand around on the mound and wait a long time and take forever to make a decision on what pitch you're going to throw. And I think Giolito's found the right, the right combination between arm angle, kind of junk in that sinker, and also speeding up his delivery in between pitches, I think is just all going to be a positive for Giolito again on Tuesday night. We'll back them. The White Sox are free pick over KC, Giolito over Keller. All right, that's going to do it for us today. Again, don't forget what's going on on Tuesday. We do have a Major League Baseball Tuesday night knockout. We look to continue this hot streak over at DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the wind column right back here Wednesday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.